So could you tell us what the African Green Wall is? So the African Green Wall or African, we call it the Great, the Great Green Wall. Yes. Uh, this is actually a United Nations initiative uh, to address or curb the environmental issues and climate change uh, from an African perspective, obviously, or in Africa. This is a wall or an environmental wall, uh, which means they are planting trees and, and at least addressing those environmental issues across Africa. And the wall starts from the uh, Senegal in, uh, in the west, all the way to the end of the continent on the other side of the east, the, up to Djibouti. So that is about 8,000 kilometers, or if I may probably say in a metric format, it's almost like 622 uh, miles. So, wow. so the, the intention is to plant trees all across. So, uh, and these are obviously communities, but the UN is behind it. It's kind of the, the, one of the initiatives for addressing climate change in Africa. So is it funded by the United Nations? It is the initiative, obviously. The, it's not just the United Nations, but there are other organizations. So United Nations facilitates, obviously, supports. Uh -huh. uh, but obviously the local communities are putting in a, a lot of effort uh, to, to be part of it. I am excited about it because one, that's an initiative for Africa. As an African, obviously, <laughs> I when I saw that, I was excited and trying to figure out how can I be part of that, especially the communities that are developing. So my main interest is really working with some of those communities that are uh, putting in the initiative and contributing, whether it's in terms of planting trees or restoring the environment. So that's what we are doing. So I'm actually working with a group in Kenya mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, part of that initiative and they're trying to, to plant as many trees as possible. So, uh, so this summer, obviously last summer, I was there and we planted a lot of trees <laughs> as, as part of that, yes. So you literally went to different places and planted trees? Yes. Were they like saplings or They're big seedlings. trees? Seedlings. They are seedlings. Yeah, so you plant seedlings and then you obviously have to water them. And, you know, they're usually not that big, but, uh, you know, we are, we are trying to help them grow. So communities are actually now trying to help. The big problem there is the water, so they have to really think about where to, where to get the water from. So there are companies that are involved in the irrigation? Well, these are, we work with uh, groups of people, women groups. So uh, because local communities, they are mostly organized, whether it's youth groups or women groups or, or men's group, mostly women are more interested in environmental issues. So because they're already organized, so you just need to sell the idea to them, and then they will take the initiative. Yes. And so where are these seedlings coming from? There are nurseries there. Um, the, the big issue is how to acquire the seeds because most of these nurseries are, are not public nurseries, they are private nurseries. So my project, my, the people I'm working with, they're already, they're already trying to grow to, or to plant those seeds and seedlings. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes they're not enough, the demand is much higher. So people have to raise funds to purchase uh, from other private nurseries. 